In this section, we will talk about the controller layer and the management layer of the software defined access. Let's start with the controller layer. Controller layer provides all of the management subsystems for the management layer and the partner ecosystem. These are physical server appliances noted in the physical layer section. These controller subsystems are effectively the work being done behind the scenes to abstract the complexities and dependencies of managing so many network devices. Together they provide a complete closed loop management environment for all aspects of your Cisco SD access networks. There are three main controller subsystems and they are Cisco NCP, Cisco NDP and Cisco, uh, that would be S I think, Cisco ISE. Okay, so NCP stands for Network Control Pro Platform, NDP stands for Network Data Platform and ICE is for Identity Services Engine. So let's start with the Cisco NCP. This is a subsystem uh, integrated directly into Cisco DNA Center that provides all the underlay and the fabric automation and orchestration services for the physical and network layers. NCP configures and manages Cisco network devices using NetConf and Yang, SNMP, SSH and so on and then provides network automation status and other information to the management layer. NDP is uh, a data collection and analytics and assurance subsystems that is integrated directly into the Cisco DNA Center guys. NDP analyzes and correlates various network events through the multiple sources and it identifies historical trends. It uses this information to provide contextual information to NCP and ISE and it provides network operational status and other information to the management layer. So when it comes to the Cisco ISE, the basic role of ISE is to provide all the identity and policy services for the physical layer and network layer. ISE provides network access control and identity services for dynamic endpoint to group mapping and policy definition in a variety of ways including 802.1x, MAC authentication bypass which is known as MAP and the web authentication known as WebAuth. ISE also collects and uses the contextual information shared from NDP and NCP. ISE then places the profiled endpoints into the correct scalable group and host pool. It uses this information to provide information to NCP and NDP so the user can create and manage group-based policies. ISE is also responsible for programming group-based policies on the network devices. Cisco ISE and the DNA Center integrate with each other to share contextual information through APIs between themselves and this contextual information is then provided to user management layer. The NDP subsystem shares contextual analytic information Cisco ISE and NCP subsystems and provides this information to the user management layer. The NCP subsystems integrates directly with Cisco ISE and NDP subsystems to provide contextual automation information between them. Cisco ISE integrates directly with Cisco NCP and NDP subsystems to provide contextual identity and policy information. 
As noted earlier guys, the users interact with the management layer of Cisco DNA Center and it is the user interface and user experience layer where all the information about the other layers is exposed to the user. It is what provides the intent-based networking aspect of the Cisco DNA. A full understanding of the network layer or controller layer is not required to deploy the fabric in software defined access. Nor is there a requirement to know the details of how to configure each individual network device and feature to create consistent end to end behavior offered by SD access. The management layer abstracts all of the complexities and the dependencies of the other layers and then provides the user with a simple set of GUI tools and workflows to easily manage and operate the entire Cisco DNA network. Cisco DNA Center provides two basic app types and the first one is Cisco DNA Center settings which contains the controller settings, APIs and tables to support communications between subsystems as well as integrating partner services. When it comes to the DNA Center applications, this one contains the workflow tools and contextual application data to support Cisco DNA user workflows such as the design, policy, provision and the assurance. So the last thing is the partner ecosystem. As part of the API driven controller based management framework and tools of Cisco DNA Center, Cisco is able to provide direct solution level access to established Cisco business partners who can integrate their own products with Cisco SD access as well as co-develop new and exciting capabilities.